Hi, everyone. Well, back again. And doesn't it seem like we've been in this COVID-19 situation for years? Right, huh? Well, we'll soon be out of it, hopefully. All right, now, one thing I want to get to talk about, rather, before we get to our presenters, is when you're watching one of our videos and you don't want to watch the whole thing all in one sitting, it's very easy. Just go to the bar at the bottom of the video, run your cursor across there, you'll see where it says pause. Just click on the pause button. You can go have lunch, do whatever you want to do, then come back and watch the video, okay? Just a little FYI um, in case many of you were not aware of that. All right, now let's get on to our presenters. Starting with Michaela Leanne. Now Michaela's gonna be talking to us about exercises for people with PD. Michaela is a Bay Area based PMA certified Pilates teacher and NASM personal trainer with over 15 years of experience. She uses functional fitness training, Pilates, balance training, and cognitive training to develop personal exercise programs for her clients. So, should be an interesting program. Now, next up, Linda A. Fodrini Johnson. She is a licensed family therapist and professional certified care manager since 1984. She is the founder of Elder Care Services, a full service care agency in the San Francisco Bay Area. Her talk will be on being prepared in the time of COVID-19. All right, then following her will be Lena Hart. And let me refresh your memory on our old friend, Lena. Lena has been fascinated with the Alexander Technique and its many applications since she was first introduced to it in an acting class in 2001. After working for years as an actor and earning her master's, she moved to Berkeley to study at the Alexander Education Center to become a certified AMSAT Alexander Technique teacher. Now, she's lived in the Bay Area since 2011 and works with a large range of students, including actors, musicians, retirees, public speakers, office workers, and people living with Parkinson's disease. Now, the technique is an invaluable tool for those living with Parkinson's disease and for their care partners. Studies have shown that using the technique improves balance, tremors, depression, and slows down the increase in medication. Now today she will be speaking on how to sit optimally, something we all need to learn, right? And then lastly, uh, something a little different for all of us. We've all at one time or another been involved in clinical trials well, we're going to give you the opportunity to get involved in one called Topaz. Parkinson's patients, as most of us know, are at a higher risk for bone fractures. The Topaz study is a clinical trial of Parkinson's and Zoledronic acid. This video is offered as an educational opportunity, not an endorsement you will enroll in the study at their website. Now, when you look at this video, you're going to see a lot more information on there about the clinical trial, including the fact that you will be paid for the, the trial if you qualify, okay? Uh, I will be back uh, with closing remarks, and as we've done in the past, a little sneak peek at next month's presenters, okay? So, let's move on now to our first presenter, Michaela. <laughs> 